Good morning, sunshine. Sierra here. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you are notified when I make my next video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make this weight plate cake that you are totally going to be able to wow your guests with. So if you've been waiting for a cool cake, let's do this. Before we work on the actual cake, we're going to roll out some fondant details. So that's going to be like the 45 pound symbol. Um, since we live in Hawaii, somebody requested that I do the Hawaiian Islands, so that's what I'll be putting on the cake as well. I'm also going to be using my tappet cutters that I got from Amazon, and I'm going to be cutting out the names. I'll put the link for the cutters in the Amazon. I'll put the link. I'll put the link. At, I'll put the link for the tappet cutters in the link. I'll put the link for the tappet cutters in the description box below. All right, and then on the top of the weight, there's like a little circle and then there's crisscross lines. Um, I guess that's just the way how they distinguish their weight and where the pounds are and what brand it is and whatever else. But I'm gonna be drawing that with buttercream. I'm gonna be making a blob in the middle and then I'm gonna make the hole using my finger. And if you're wondering why I'm leaving this rough edge, well, I'm gonna set it in the fridge for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna trim that edge off, leaving like a raised edge, just like a weight. Now using a really sharp knife, I'm going to trim off this rough edge. So the edges are clean, now I just want to round them out, but I'm going to pop this in the fridge for another 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll smooth it out using a glove.
All right, so we have our weight basically finished, but last thing we need to do is to put the final details of like the pounds and the names and the Hawaiian Islands. Thank you.